guys welcome to my youtube channel this is Miami Automobile I have with me a Ford Escape 2014-15 model okay guys let me take you guys here and then this car has some a lot of issue you have ABS sensor then the car is like pumping up like overheating and so on and so on so I want to run diagnostic on this car so that we can see what is the problem of this car so guys follow me let's go so you can see so we have in this car we have um you can see we have check engine lights then we have an abs you can see the stern is a little bit stiff not too soft as it's supposed to be soft so guys you can see that so we have the abs airbag but the main complaint here is what we have here is the check engine light and then the ABS in this vehicle. So guys, later on our diagnosis in this car. Let's scan the car so that we can see what is the problem in the vehicle. So I'll be running auto search. I'll be running auto search. Mistakenly double click. So let's go. So, guys, I want to run full diagnostic in this vehicle. Initially, I run auto scanning on the vehicle. I have to do some ways, and uh, so I want to run the scanning again. Okay, I have three faults in this in the PCM right now. Okay, guys, let's go to the PCM. Okay, I think I need to off. Then on the ignition, then let's read the fourth code. Let's go to continue memory. So as you can see, we have turbocharged bypass valve A control socket high. Then we have oxygen sensor heater socket bank one sensor two. Then we have engine coolant bypass valve C control socket open. So here is the three fourth code we have in the engine. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go back. because I have just two things to tackle the ABS sensor so let's go to the ABS and see because we have the ABS sensor and this car I've run the diagnostic before so I'm trying to run it again after I'm raising all the fault I find out that other fault are still there okay guys we have right front wheel speed sensor as you can see then we have, uh, let me show you guys the fourth code I just stored in the, let me go to home, let me go to home, this, let's go to data manager, and let's go to the PDF, this is the fourth code I just read out that I just stored from the prayer code. This is the car for 2014, and uh, as you can see, we have 
low pressure foil foil rate pressure too low so in that trim is fire then we have ECM electric electronic control module PCM power relay de-energize then we have cylinder head temperature protection active so these are the fourth code I have I got in the vehicle that I raised engine coolant bypass valve turbocharged valve A oxygen sensor fuel rail and blah 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 active grill air okay this is active grill air shorter it's okay okay this one for the front grill all right uh, so guys let's get out of here let's go back to the vehicle let's go back to the vehicle Okay, this is the fourth code that we got here right now. So the ABS sensor and then the the oxygen sensor here. We have the oxygen sensor. We have uh, the turbo switch. Okay, guys, let's walk around the car. Let's see what and what we can do. So this right, I think this should be right ABS sensor. No, I'm not erasing the fourth. I'm not trying to erase a bot. So guys, um, so reading the fourth code again. Okay, right front wheel APS sensor. So let's take a look of this. Let's take a look of this. Uh, this is the right ABS sensor. So, guys, as you can see, it's damaged. I think the ABS sensor is damaged, just cut off. And then uh, let's go to the engine. Man, everywhere is just down to. And then this is the. So guys, this is the engine coolant valve, um, what do they call it, engine coolant valve, valve C, so this is it here, then the oxygen sensor, man is heating, I have to loosen some things before I get there, then the turbo charge valve is also located, that should be under the car behind behind this where we should get it from uh, should be under there the switch of the turbo then the oxygen sensor should be from here down under there so I need to take all this thing off so this video will have part two so I need to take off all this then uh, I will do the video on the part two so follow the video guys i'll show you everything and this vehicle is so easy to work so these are the switch solenoid switch here you can see it's shaking it's shaking i want to see if i can take it off I was able to take it off. You can see the switch is bad. So we need to replace this. First and foremost, I will check if the wire is short socket. I don't think the wire is short socket. So I'll be replacing I'll be replacing this switch. And then uh, the front grill. I don't know if they socket the wire. Alright, this is it here. This is the group socket. And then uh, the exhaust sensor. Oxygen sensor is just down behind there. Yeah? So I need to take off all these things. So guys, just like I said, and um, this car will be soft. 
so watch out for the part two of the video and guys if this is your first time watching my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel this is my new to mobile subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video and thanks for watching so i'll show you guys everything thanks for watching